Well, that's a plant I've never seen before. At least, not that I know of, and certainly not out in the forest like this growing wild. I had to look up what it was, but I didn't need that information to know that it was toxic. This is almost certainly a bleeding heart plant. It is not native, it is introduced, but apparently it's not that much of an invasive plant. Otherwise, you would see it a lot more. Although, take that bit with a grain of salt. If it's showing up growing wild in the woods like this, there's always a chance that it might become invasive at a later date. Now, it's not hard to understand why it was introduced. It is quite pretty. Apparently, it's a very common and popular garden plant. And adding to its appeal as a garden plant, this thing is quite toxic. It's very unlikely that anything in this part of the world is going to want to eat it. In fact, this is probably the poster child for an obviously toxic plant. Very showy, bright flowers, and a stem and leaves with no protection. No thorns, no hairs, nothing. And toxic it is to both humans and pets. Now, luckily, humans don't typically eat garden plants, but pets like dogs sometimes do. This plant has alkaloids in it that do cause quite a bit of harm to various different organs of the body. And also of concern to people, these alkaloids are potentially a skin irritant to some people. Overall, there's not much more to say. It's a very showy and easily identifiable plant, so there's not much risk to humans who might be foraging or looking for wild edibles or any of that sort of thing. But if you have a small child or a dog that might think this is food when it isn't, then you have a little bit to be worried about. Well, I hope you all learned something and enjoyed. See ya.